everyone today will understand what decimals are and we'll also learn about tens, hundreds and thousands. Let's begin. What are decimal fractions? The fractions in which the denominators are 10, 100, 1000, etc. are known as decimal fractions. When we have denominators as 10, 100, 1000 in a fraction, we call them decimal fraction. For example, 7 by 10. The denominator is 10, so it's a decimal fraction. 9 by 100, denominator is 100. Decimal fraction, 63 by 1000. Denominator is 1000. It's a decimal fraction. 17 by 10,000. It is also a decimal fraction because in all these fractions, you can see either they have 10, 100, 1000 or 10,000. It could be lakh. So these are the decimal fractions when we have denominators 10, 100, 1000, etc. Okay, let's understand further. Decimal fraction with 10 as denominator is called tens. When we have 10 as a denominator in a fraction, we name it as tens. Let's understand 1 by 10. We call it 1 tens. If I write it in a decimal form, I'll write 0.1 and in word form, it will be 0.1 only. And then 2 by 10, we can say it's 2 tens because 10 is in the denominator and we can write in decimal form as 0 0.2. Now the next fraction, 3 by 10, we can call it as 3 tenths. And in decimal form, we can write 0 0.3. Next, 9 by 10. And here again, 9 tenths. And we can call it in decimal form as 0 0.9. So it's very easy when we have denominators as 10. We call them tens and in decimal, we just write dot, which is called decimal point. This is dot, which is called decimal point. And after decimal, we write the number, which is in the numerator, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0.9. And this is the word form of decimal form. We write it like this. Okay, decimal fractions with 100 as denominator, we call them hundreds when we have denominator 100 in the fraction, it's hundreds. 1 by 100, we call it 1 hundreds. And in decimal form, we write 0 0.01 because we have two zeros here. So decimal and we'll write two digits after decimal. So it's 0 1. So we call it 0 0.01. 2 by hundreds, we in decimal form we write it as 0 0.02. Next is 10 by hundreds, and in decimal form we write as equal to 1 0. We'll not call it 10 because after decimal we call the digits separately. We call it 0 0.10. It's not 0 0.10, it will be wrong. We call it 0. 1, 0. Next, I have 99 by 100 and we can also name as 99 hundreds. And in decimal form, we can say 0. 0.99. It's not 0. 0.99. It will be wrong if you write that because after decimal, after point, we separate the digits. It's 0. 0.99. Okay, next decimal fraction with 1000 as denominator called 1000. Very easy. With 10 as denominator called 10s. With 100 as denominator called 100s. With 1000 as denominator called 1000s. Let's see an example. 1 by 1000 we call as 1000s. And in decimal form, it's very easy. We can write 0 0.001 and in when we write the word form, we again write 0 0.001. Let's see another example. 2 by 1000. So it's 2000. And in decimal form we write 0 0.002. Or in word form we call it as 0 0.002 only. 10 by 1000. We'll call it 
ten thousands T H S and we'll say point zero one zero. After decimal, three digits will come here because we have three zeros in the denominator. So we already have two digits here. So we'll insert a zero here to get the three digits. Next is nine hundred ninety-eight by thousand. All we can say nine hundred ninety-eight thousands. So for that, the decimal form will be point nine nine eight, and in word form also we'll write directly point nine nine eight. If you write point nine hundred ninety-eight, it will be wrong. So let's see the place value chart, decimal place value chart. Now we know about the Indian place value chart, international place value chart. It starts with ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, like this. Decimal place value chart, just the extension of that. So let's make the decimal place value chart. Now you can see here, just see the above row. This is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. We have done Indian and international system. Now here, after ones, you can see a decimal point and then directly start tens not once it's tens t h s and here it's tens so tens hundreds thousands and in the short form we write capitals for the whole number and for the tens hundred thousand the decimal part we call small t small h small t h so before decimal we call whole part after decimal we call decimal part so this is a decimal which is dividing the number into two parts whole part before decimal after decimal decimal part before decimal which is whole part we have already done the place value of that place value chart for that ones tens hundred thousand and for decimal part it starts with tens hundreds thousands now moving to the second row for tens we have already learned that tens means denominator 10. 100 denominator 100. And thousands means 1 by thousands. Denominator is 1000. In decimal form, we can write 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. So this is the place value chart of decimal. Before decimal, whole part. After decimal, decimal part. Let's see an example. Write 254.5. 983. I'll not say 983. It will be wrong. It's 254.983. We'll write this number under decimal place value chart. Let's make the decimal place value chart here. So here you can see this is a decimal. Before decimal, we have the whole part. After decimal, we have the decimal part. We'll write the place value chart once, tens, hundred. And after decimal will be tens, hundreds, thousands. Now, uh, under decimal, I'll write decimal. And in here, you can see this is the ones place. This is tens. This is hundreds. And if I say after decimal, nine will come under tens, eight under hundreds, and three under thousands. So this way, I have written this number under this place value chart. So you start writing from the decimal. Before decimal, you write four, five, two. So before decimal, four, five, two. After decimal, you write 983, that is 983. So we have written this number under decimal place value chart. So remember the decimal place value chart, ones, tens, hundred before decimal. After decimal, we start tens, hundreds, thousands. Now it's your time to do some workout. So decimal fractions with thousand as denominator is called. Write this answer in the comment section. I'll check your answer later and we'll see how many of you understand the topic. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications for our upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.